here's everything that came in the box. Of course, you got the light, you got the uh, mounting fixtures too. So the light is just gonna slide right on this. You mount it. You can mount this piece to a piece of wood, fence, your house. Or you can take and use the bolts and clamp it around a 4x4 four four or a round post if you need to. And it's got the remote. It's got some mounting screws. It's got a little wrench for it too. There's a look at the, uh, the solar panel itself too. Okay, now for installing the, the mounting bracket to the light fixture itself. There's a hole right there on the bottom of that. That's going to line up with this right here. So I'm just flipping it over on the back there. There's no mistake in which way this goes because there's no hole on the back there. So just line that hole up like that. Kind of work it in there. And then pop the screw in. There's the bolt. Now what you might do too, just a suggestion is put a washer underneath that too. You get a whole bunch of spare parts here. So there's some washers in there you could probably borrow from. It. And if you're not using all these, there's washers in here too. All right, here's a look at it. Mounted up to this post I have. I just screwed it in there with some lag bolts, four lag bolts. It took me about 10 seconds, super easy. Can't wait to see this thing tonight. It's gonna be great. I've got it under uh, maximum exposure to sunlight as well. Here's a tip from the manufacturer. They say it's suggested to mount the, the street lights at a height of 10 to 23 feet for optimal performance. I've got it sitting at about uh, 12 to 14 right now. Okay, as far as the remote control, so the on button, that's, you know, if you just pushed on, it's gonna be fixed at 100% brightness. And it can be a, adjusted by the remote control as well. So you turn it on and then you can, with, the, with your percentages here, that gives you the percentage of 100% lighting that, uh, that you want. Of course, the off button, and then uh, if you turn it off, the light won't come on automatically the next day. You just gotta leave it on. If you leave it on, it'll turn off when the light comes on. This button here, that middle button, that's when people are close, it'll be 100% brightness. And then when people are away, it'll drop all the way down to 30%. And then here's for your adjust brightness, like I said. And then this is, you can, sh you can set it for the, uh, the amount uh, of hours that you want the thing on. And uh, it'll be fixed at 100% brightness for two hours, three hours, five, six, or eight, depending on how you program. It's just a matter of turning it on and then pushing the button on how long you want it to stay on. The other thing is if you're using one of these hourly buttons, it'll, uh, it'll turn into motion sensor mode as well. And the remote just takes two AAA batteries. This thing really lights up the place. It's a nice light. All right, just boosted it up to 100%, and now that thing is really, really lighting up everything. That's like a stadium light caliber. That's great.